from Boston? Yeah, you. Yeah. You don't look like the ones that are trying to kick us out. No, no. Really. <laughs> I'm, I'm bad news. I like to let my hair down and party with y'all. <laughs> There's no extras in the pack. They only give you 20. They only give you 20. He knew that. He knew that. Do I pay? I never ask. You know what I mean? Hey, whether you, if you're going to ask, there's a way, right? Etiquette. Just like people get grants. Some people are like, hey, that's free money. No, there ain't. Yep. But then you're like, well, you gotta give a piece of yourself. You just, you just try to take from me instead of giving me a piece of yourself. Maybe if you offered me something else, like mm -hmm. conversation, like a <laughs> yeah. or a dollar, yeah. or some help along the way, you know, whatever. I'm Scott, by the way, man. Scott? Nice to meet you. Funny face, finally. Go. Go? You... Go. Just go. Oh, go. Do you have a like? I do. We can share that. So you know what? Everybody I meet, oh yeah, they got a cool nickname. You know, I gotta get me a nickname. No, 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 no. Somebody's gotta give me a nickname. No, we gotta give it to you. you <laughs> it's already in you. That's how you get one, right? Ah, all right. <laughs> Where you from, Scott? Subable. Mmm. Driving down Georgia, and then Florida, Cali, Israel. I've been all over for work. I just stopped traveling last year, so. <clears throat> stopped? How yeah. long have you been traveling? Nine years mm. for work. I've been living out of a suitcase for like, you know, eight months out of the year, traveling all over the world. Great. For work, yeah. I so. mean. Huh? It's a good gig, you know? I mean, you get to see other things. See how the world yeah, really works. See how the world really works. It was really great works. when I got out of college, you know, because like, I'd be booking myself at like, man, good cities like New Orleans, to do trade shows, party, right. Orlando, so right. you know, and then, the deeper we got into it, the more we grew out. Now I'm in places like fucking international Kansas, Joplin, Missouri. Who the fuck wants to go to these places, you know? <laughs> There's a reason to go. Uh, I'm burnt out from traveling. I got I hate you. Yeah. You know? That's all I ever did. <laughs> all you could never do is move. Yeah. That's all you could, I mean. Well, it was with work, you know what I mean? Like they would travel, send me all over, you know? Um, I was in the biotech industry, you know? I worked for a company that manufactured the human genome. So I go to all these major drug companies and work on their equipment and labs and fucking... How deep are you in it? <clears throat> I, I sold my FU shares last year. Oh, I right. FU shares, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So uh, I got an uncle out here who's uh, he's getting Alzheimer's and he's always been great to me. He took me, you know, he used to take me to ski in Colorado and I don't put him in a home so I fucking take care of him and I go to work every day still, you know what I mean? I understand. But, Scott, you know, this is what I do. Family's first. Family's the point. It's not first, it's the point. Because obviously it ain't first. Yeah. Obviously they, we're, not, we're not taught or shown that it's first. It, it, they, told, they tell you to leave your house. He's first. It, sure. For me. It's great when people can do that. But yeah. even that doesn't help people. Yeah. When it comes down to it, we still got to interact with people. We still oh, got to yeah. say, hey, that place over there is going to be empty, collecting no money, and they'd rather have me looking at it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You got to go to work. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, go to work. Leave your kids somewhere else. Leave it with me. Oh, no. I thought you were insinuating you had to go to work. Like, yeah, yeah. Had, uh, uh, like leave me right now and go to work. Like, oh. like people go to work. No, they don't. They don't go to work. They go to jobs anymore. They don't go to work. They go to jobs. <laughs> and... And they, they're, they're being Skinner's little rat and, you know, yep. pushing that button because, hey, that's yep. what's getting us by, getting us forward, thinking we're walking rat straight. Race. Yep. Yeah. But that's okay, because once people realize things, they don't like to be fooled. No one, once, they're, once they realize they're fooled, they don't like to be fooled, right? Yeah, yeah. But then a lot of people don't like, sorry, this is what I do. This is, this is my work. No, you're a firecracker. I'm a scam, I love it. I'm a scam artist. Uh -huh. I'm going to call it that. Uh -huh. I'm going to call it that. All right, I all give right. a lot of words to a lot of things I do. I say, sometimes I say I connect. People don't. People take nice things too weird. People like mean shit. Yeah. <laughs> people like mean shit in Boston, especially. I tell you, like, when I first came out here, like, I can't tell you how many times I got scammed out here, man. No, it's unbelievable. Gotta be careful. You gotta be who you associate with. It's not just who you associate with. It's the it's the pathology of everybody. We're creatures of habit. People, we're, we're told constantly self-preservation, self-preservation, but we're not told that self-preservation means preserve everything around you. Because if everything around you is great, you will be greater. And that's such a simple concept, yet things don't have to be simple. Yeah. And we already know that. We get complicated just choosing what to eat. <laughs> it's like choose what to eat before you have to look to find the food. Yeah. Fight to find food. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. You used yeah. to make food. Then we realize, oh shoot, we could just chill. Then someone said, you know what? No. I can make food. How about this? You can't build over here. Yeah. 
because this paper says so, and then and then you can you can go buy it over there. But you can't afford it, so you can't eat. Yeah. So now you gotta be doing this, and now you're not thinking straight because you're hungry, and yeah. you can't sleep because yeah. you're hungry, yeah. and that's just gonna be a swallow effect. People always say to homeless people, oh, homeless people, they need to go get a job. I'm like, do you know how, what you need to get a job? You need a residence. You need an address. You need some place to shower every day. You need to be clean. Yeah. People don't want to be near dirty people, but there's no free showers. I mean, it's all about resource, and we can get to free source. We can get to free source. That's not a problem, but we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of things to do. Sure thing, little man. What's your name, bro? D. D? I'm Go. This here is Mr. Man. This is Mr. Man. Your name? D. D. Nice to meet you, man. What are you up there for? At 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm about to go to Broughton. Shut the. Yeah, man, we know what's in Brockton. What's in Brockton, bro? At this hour? Sleep. Ah, oh. so all right, we got to travel to sleep. How long you been walking to sleep? <laughs> About an hour. All right, all right. How much more long are you going to go? I'm not that long. Yeah. I'm about to hop on this bus and go to sleep. So. Yeah, man. Did I give you that light back? Did you? Mm -mm. I'm uh, Scott. going to get... Uh, Real quick, I got a website. I quit all my jobs to do this. Yeah. To make this happen. Do you have an email? Go ahead. Oh. I think I gave him a letter back. Strike it, strike it. He might try to inch out. From Boston? Why you in Brockton, man? That's why I be out. It's too much drama out here. Drama and it's yeah. cheap out there and it's a crack town and it's retarded and full of fucking scum. <laughs> That's what Brockton's about. Let's be serious. I'm hurt. I'm hurt, nigga, but that's what it's be at. That's what I be at out there. What would you like to be doing if you could do anything? Cut your hair for real. For real. That's an yeah. art. People lose that. A lot of people be like, oh, yeah, I gotta go somebody else to get my hair done. It's like, you know, people used to, you know, barbers used to be a loyal thing. Not only did they take care of your hair, they took care of your skin, they took care of your face. They made you look right, right? It was what the epitome of a man was. Right. Now it's just, let me see if I can get the style in, make you unique, make you unique. Even that's great. That's supposed to happen. Let's see, I've been going to the same barber for like, probably like five, six, seven years. And no one told you to do that, right? Oh. No one told you to do that. That just happened. Yeah. Right. A lot of shit just happens. And some of those things are meant to happen that way. So this Scott guy dip. He's a little scared, I see. Where'd he go? Oh, I could have got a consent form. Uh, see, that was the first white man I got to speak on the phone. Freaking uh, <laughs> video camera. Yo, man, white people are here. But they're very good with their pathology, right? Well, Boston's good at that. They only travel on this street, on this sidewalk. Only this sidewalk. They won't cross this sidewalk, that sidewalk, or that sidewalk. They will walk down this sidewalk to this guy and further down. And they'll walk down here and go up past that church. One day I was walking down this street. It was like 50 white people walking up the street. I was like, where are all these white people come from? At the same damn time. I'm like, that means you live here. And if you live here, when have you been living here? <laughs> know what I mean? I won't keep you. Take care. You got to. Have a good one. You too. I guess that concludes our section.